Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at a Kydex sheath and this one is by Clipping Carry from Stack Gear Tools. And Stack Gear Tools actually sent this along for me to show you guys and to review. This is actually my first experience with a Kydex sheath. I'm, I'm more of the old fashioned kind of leather sheaths is what I like. Uh, I do like the newer sheaths that Leatherman puts out. Uh, they're newer nylon with the, with the uh, button clasp. I think those are pretty decent sheaths, and, and for the most part, I've been using them on occasion. But I'm really more partial to a, a, a leather sheath. So this is my first experience with the Kydex sheath. Now, Stack Gear Tools, who sent me this, they actually have a pretty cool website. And you can find them at stackgeartools.com. They have tactical pins, knives, Kydex sheaths like this one, which is built for the Wave and the Wave Plus platform. They have auto rescue tools for state kits. Uh, the Swiss clip, which we showed in an earlier video, which will... Uh, allow you to have some of your 91 millimeter Victorinox knives uh, to incorporate a pocket clip, which is actually pretty cool. Um, was one of the reasons that that uh, I don't really carry a full size Victorinox knife is because I don't like stuff in the bottom of my pocket. But that is actually a pretty cool uh, a, a pretty cool accessory for your 91 millimeters, and, and one that I actually kind of like a lot. So, but today we're looking at the Kydex sheath now. These are made by Clip and Carry, and they come in a variety of colors. They have a black version, then they have the black carbon version, they have a red carbon version, an orange carbon version, and then this coyote tan version. So they're pretty well constructed too. Uh, they'll have you know the rubber mounts in here for the spacers, uh, the screws that hold those together. They also have rubber cushioning washers in between the clip it's in the in the in the case itself that's that's actually pretty nice now the clip on it is really robust I was really surprised at how strong that thing is and it fit about an inch and a half belt so most of your full-size belts it's gonna fit just fine so I have the Leatherman Wave Plus here and we're just gonna check it out this is actually my first time inserting this in there so we'll see how that fits and I'm really surprised at how well that that friction fits that's actually pretty nice. We'll flip it around the other way and see if we get the same result. And we certainly do. And it's open in the bottom, so if you got trash, it just flow right through. That's kind of cool. So that actually that actually seats in there really nicely. I'm really surprised about that. Now I have the Leatherman Charge Plus titanium here. Uh, now the Charge Plus titanium is a little thicker, so I doubt that this is going to fit very, very well in here. But I, for curiosity's sake, I wanted to see if the Charge would fit in here. It's a little tight, and you can see that it does not seat correctly. But I believe that if you were to get a different spacer mount here, because it looks like we have a little bit of gap on this side, and it's tight on the on the side with the screw. So if you had a little bit different washer or a little bit of a spacer to put in there to open that up just a touch more. I believe you could get your your charge uh, multi-tools to fit in there as well. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed at how, how well that fits. Now I'm kind of like, I don't know if I mentioned it before, I'm kind of the old school guy. I like leather sheaths. I also like the newer nylon, or uh, yeah, the ballistic nylon sheaths that Leatherman has with the button clasp. I think they're pretty nice for, uh, they seem to hold up really well and they hold up a lot better than the ones of the past but if if you're looking for something that's a little bit different you might be interested in these kydex sheets they're actually pretty robust more so than i thought they would be at any rate i'll leave description uh or in the description box below i will leave links for stackgeartools.com i'll also leave some links for various different kydex sheath models from clip and carry that if you're interested in these, I'll have a direct link for you in the description box below. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.